What's up, divas and divos? It's your girl, April. So you guys already know what time it is just from the title of the video. Yes, you guys, it is Samuel Annual Sale Month. You guys know I'm really super cheap, so I really only go to Bath & Body Works twice a year. That's in January and in June. So from the month of January when the sale started, which was like the day after Christmas, honestly, I still have loads of stuff left, but that's fine because those are more or less like winter scents, and I do have a few candles. I really like to rack up on the candles. My daughter Tati and my grandson bought me a gift card for Bath & Body Works, so I was really happy about that. I was able to split my order in three because if you spend $40, you do get $10 off if you do get a coupon in your email. Or you can also go on Retail Me Not and you can also find the coupon there. So it's best to split it up once you get like to $40. You can split it up if you have like, you know, another bunch of 40s and you do that, you can save even more money or else it's just going to just be $10 off the entire purchase. But also, I did go to Victoria's Secrets, which is right next door, their sister store. I'm not really like a huge, huge fan of Victoria's Secrets. The bras that I find at Victoria's Secrets, some of the actual straps are kind of thin and I have never really found anyone one of the straps that's really wide or the backs are wide and for me I like for the band around me that goes around my back to be a little bit wider along with the straps so that way it's not digging into my skin and it gives me more support so I really don't get too many bras from there I do have a few from the last sale and I will be honest and tell you I'm really not like a huge fan of those bras um but anyway I did go in there and I, I don't really mess with their fragrances too much because I can just get everything from Bath and Body Works but a girl did see a shirt that she wanted, and it was on sale. $20, it was a decent price. I only bought one thing. I restricted myself to one thing and one thing only from Victoria's Secrets. I have honestly, I don't remember ever purchasing any clothes from them except for socks or underwears. But this shirt right here was rather cute. I like the shirt because of the color and it matches my toenails. Um, this is like the color I always get painted on my feet because it get, it does allow my feet to look a lot darker so I'm not looking so pale. But I like this shirt because of the dog right here and it was just really basic but I could wear it with my leggings. But on the back, I like the back because of the way it was open. Really cute, it has the word pink on the sleeve. So I know you guys see that I'm just being neutral today, meaning I don't have any makeup on. Um, I wasn't able to really sleep that well. I didn't go to bed until like five this morning. And then when I woke up, it was like seven. And then I woke back up at like eight something. So then I finally went back to sleep at like eight thirty nine o'clock, and I didn't wake up until like eleven. So once I woke up, I was I jumped in the shower, threw on my half wig, and ran out the door. So this is a half wig, and I've been rocking this for quite a few days now. Um, and this is from the Bohemian Wig Company, and I actually really do like it. It's supposed to be like light yakky hair. So I will post the video up on this hair. Um, really soon. So first of all, the only thing that I did not buy that was on that wasn't on sale. Or, the only thing that I bought that was the only there was one product that I purchased that was not on sale, and this was the All of the Beach Fine Fragrance Mist. Okay, so first of all, this has been out for quite a few months, and the first time that I smelled this. I wanted it like but I wasn't going to spend like $15 I didn't really feel like spending it at the time and on top of that the um, the woman that worked at Bath & Body Works was like girl you can wait until June and it will be part of the semi-annual sale so I was like oh shoot okay I'm about to wait until June then and I'm about to rack the heck up on this scent well when I went in there today it was none of this stuff on sale okay it wasn't even 25% off or 50% off. It was full price. And I really, listen, let me tell y'all. I really wanted this so bad. Like, I really, really wanted this super bad. And I just was like, you know what? I'm not going to buy the entire set, like the lotion and the shower gel, because I really don't care. It was this that I smelled when I was in the store, so I don't really care about all that extra stuff. So I did purchase this because I wanted this. And I figured, you know what? It's my birthday month. Um, the least I could do is splurge $14.50 on a fragrance that I really, really wanted. Like, it wasn't like $100. It was $14.50. Okay, yes. I did put my tiara on because, like I said, this is my birthday month. And I wanted to do as many videos as possible wearing my tiara. When I go to Bath & Body Works, I really try to 
stay on the cheapest side of the sale like I don't really buy too much stuff that's 50% off because I'm like, I'd rather get it for 75% off because I'm that cheap. And then so, I did see this, which is the Bali Blue Surf Fragrance Mist. And this was 50% off, so $7.25. And this was really supposed to replace this because when I seen this was 50% off, I was like, you know what, I'll get this because this ain't on sale. And then when I asked my daughter, Nay, what she thought of this scent, she's like, I can't smell it, which was a lie because I smelt it. But then I was like, you know what, April, just get it and then just get this. So they do have like the entire set of this on sale for 50% off, but I only bought the low, um, the spray because I really wasn't trying to buy the whole set. I think that the bottle is really cute and chic. It does have like the print on the back with like the tree leaves, which is really, really nice. But it's a very light fragrance smell. And to me, honestly, they they are comparable, but not really comparable. I think like this one right here, the beach, is way more stronger in scent, but they both are actually really, really lovely. So yes, definitely pick up this one. There was the coconut one too, but I was really like digging this one. As for body sprays, I really did not want to buy so many and I wish I would have looked through my bag before purchasing or, or checkout, but I don't really try to buy a lot of the body sprays because they don't last as long. I think like the most you could keep them up to is six months and then they start smelling like, like rubbing, rubbing alcohol. First, I did get the Dark Kiss, which is a really pretty fall scent. But if you're into like fall scents or whatever, then you know, me, I will wear whatever fragrance and whatever scent. It doesn't really matter what time of the year. So the Plumeria, which I think is like an older scent to me. Um, I think these were 75% off. I do like the color of it. They kind of, to me, they kind of look like they are very, very similar. I think they came out maybe the same time. I'm not really sure. Um, this one, I had two, but this one was more or less the diamond with the shimmer mist, which is Endless Weekend. Now this one does smell really good and if you guys know me really really well you guys know I love anything that has rainbows in it okay so when I seen the rainbows in this I was like drawn to it because I love rainbows so when I seen that it was like a rainbow kind of like ombre I was like all for it and plus it has shimmer in it shimmer and shine girl shimmer and shine it's french lavender and honey i like lavender scents especially when it comes to a candle i love candles that have like a lavender scent to it so when i seen this i thought it was really cute especially the bottle the printing on it was really chic and even though it's a sticker surface on it it still does have a really good scent and like i said i love lavender so majority of the items that i have were 75 percent off except for the candles i try to steer clear because a girl is cheap now I love everything and anything um, lemon lemon is my thing I love the scent of lemon lemon candles lemon pine salt lemon fabuloso if they had it lemon lotion I love every single thing lemon so first of all when I seen that they had a lemon freaking body spray I was like yes girl bring it on bring it on so this is the sparkling lemon cello fine fragrance mist and it smells, ooh. oh, God. you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of household clean. Like, seriously? It reminds me of mm, household clean. It smells like something that I have purchased, like lemon Lysol. This is what it exactly smells like. It smells like lemon Lysol, and I love the scent of that. So if I could smell like this all day, I'm about to smell like this all day. I love that one. That's one of my favorites. Um. And I only bought, bought purchased one of the lemon sprays because, like I said, I don't really like to purchase too many of the body sprays because they don't last as long. And then I also got the Twisted Peppermint. Now, if you guys are not aware, the Twisted Peppermint lotion smells so good. It's really good. It's strong. And even though this may be a holiday scent to some, it's really good. It smells so good. I like to smell like peppermint then definitely check this out and definitely get the lotion honestly i did not see the matching lotion during um like their semi-annual sell back in december january i did and i purchased a bunch of those and i never had the opportunity of getting the spray but if you can find the lotion or the spray definitely get it so, bath and body works has like the best smelling lotions to some i'm gonna be honest and tell you i don't use them to hydrate my skin or moisturize my skin because if i do within a couple hours i'm gonna look ashy so i only use them for the scent and i always make sure to put a barrier on first meaning i will put some cocoa butter lotion or some cocoa butter cream on my skin or shea butter on my skin prior to putting any type of bath and body works 
lotion on my skin so the ones that I really prefer most is the body creams these are a little bit more expensive but these are thicker consistency and they do moisturize a little bit better but I still put the barrier on so I did get the French lavender and honey and like I said these were all 75% off it says 24 hours of moisturizing but it's a lie okay let me tell you I put this at in the evening at nighttime when I when I get out the shower after I get out the shower the only thing that I put on my skin is this but when I take a shower in the morning Morning, I don't just put this on that's when I use the barrier so at nighttime I don't really need both because I'm just gonna go to sleep but I really do still need some moisturize to my skin because I don't like to go to bed dry then my skin gets itchy but at night I only put this and it does not 24 hour moisture but it is thicker than most so I do like that and I do have two of those the Tahiti Island Dream which is also a really great scent and they all say that they have like ultra shea in them this one actually really does smell good. I don't really like it to be too fruity, but this one does actually smell good. And the one thing I do also like about these tubes is they're much more easier to store. I did get two of the lemon cello ones, which is great. I'm loving these. I'll probably definitely go back and get some more of the lemon ones because they are one of my favorites. The plumera, which will match the body spray, and the pearberry. Unfortunately, with the pearberry, um, this is an older scent, but I didn't get anything to match the pearberry, and I. Honestly, I don't really even know how I ended up with that one. Now, the other two lotions that I got was one of my favorites, and this one is the Cotton Blossom. Now, if I could have found the Cotton Blossom in an actual tube, I would have been much more happier. I love this scent so much. If you ever see the Blossom or Cotton Blossom, definitely get it because it smells like fresh laundry. The Endless Weekend, which will match the spray, and I could not find this in the tube. That's why I said I'm thinking I'm going to go to another Bath & Body Works and get me some more. Now for the shower gels, shower gels is like number one thing to me. Um, but lately I've been using like a lot of soaps and things. So for the shower gels, I did get the dark kiss to go with the actual um, body spray. And I did not get the matching lotion, unfortunately. I don't even remember seeing that. Some things I didn't see like matching sets to. But one of my favorites, which is Cotton Blossom. This is like an amazing, amazing scent. Definitely pick this one up. And the Plumeria as well as that I also did get. So to match the lotions and um, the body sprays, the French Lavender and Honey, which is also, like I said, a really great scent. I guess it does smell kind of like lavender, but it, to me it more smells like, like a fruity scent. It's the Lemon Cello Shower Gel. It wouldn't be complete without that. This is like, oh God. I think this is what I'm going to use this evening because I really, really do love this smell. To wrap up the shower gels, I did get the Endless Weekend and I did get two of these. I think like what I like the most about this is the packaging and the artwork on it. It has just like people driving away and this is more or less kind of like an older type of scenery from like in the 50s and it's just really calm and pleasant so I think that's what I really like a lot about this. Plus also even though it's Endless Weekend, it does really smell amazing. I really can't describe the smell, but it's just something soft and subtle. Now, also, they do have their cream body washes, which is also a really great scent. This time around, I only got one, which is the Japanese Cherry Blossom. I'm not really too into this Japanese Cherry Blossom scent. So I got this from my daughter, Tati. I really, I don't, there are a lot of people that love the Japanese Cherry Blossom. I'm not really crazy about it, to be honest. I'm just... Not crazy about it at all, but she loves it. So it does lather up a little bit more than the shower gel. But I do love their body scrubs, okay? If you've ever seen their body scrubs, definitely pick them up. I had one that was like the pear magenta or something like that. It smells so good, but it really does exfoliate. So when I seen that these were 75% off, they mainly only had the Honolulu Sun. So I got three of the Honolulu Sun ones. They are so exfoliating to your skin. I love to use these on my feet because my feet get so dry. So I definitely get these for my feet. And at 75% off, because the price, normal price is $16.50, you definitely cannot beat that. I also did get the Tahiti Island Dream, which was the white sand body scrub. So this one right here is $14.50. And then this one was $16.50. And it says white sand body scrub. 
buy these clothes. I'm not really sure why this one was two dollars more. Um, this was eight ounces and this is 7.7 .7 ounces. But if you look at them, they're the exact same size. Lies? Okay, Bath and Body Works. Don't try to play me. And the last things that I got, which are one of my favorite candles, and I was so amazed. So, like, I was talking to this customer, and I was telling her how the only candle that I really, really love the most here is, like, the mahogany candles. Because it smells like, just like a really good man. They're fresh scented. They smell like cologne. I love the mahogany teak wood candle like it just smells so good mahogany anything at bath and body works is like seriously bomb it will smell like you got a man when you really don't okay like i'm saying i didn't see none and then we you know what i'm saying for candles was 50 percent off and then she came to me she was like is this what you were talking about and i was like yes and so she gave it to me it was a loner like it was no other one it was just this one by itself the mahogany teakwood and it was from their other store their sister store white barn but it doesn't even matter so i was like oh i'm getting it is there any more and i was looking there was no more <gasps> This stuff smells so good. And let me tell you how much this was. So when I went to get my stuff rang up, why did this ring up $5? You know a girl was like, um, y'all got any more? Where, where they at? Where they at? This was just a little straggler left behind. That's why I'm like, maybe I should just get in my car right now and go to the other Bath and Body Works in the mall. That's like a five minute drive from here because I like I like I need a good bargain and it's the first day and then there'll be greedy people that come along and they'll be like, Oh, it's five dollars, I'm about to get that too and blah 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 and then I won't have nothing. Like anyway. So I also did get three other candles. This one right here, which is cotton eucalyptus. The only thing that I don't like about this candle is where's the top? Like, I'm gonna need a top for this. They all fit the same top, so like I have like a million candles by Bath and Body Works because um, I, I keep, I don't know why I keep the tops in the jars, but I have an old top that I'll post on it. The reason why I really want the top is because I feel like the scent is going to escape and then it's not going to smell anymore. So that's why I really like the top. But I do like the way this is made. This is a really pretty jar. I think also I did get this one, Saint Tropez Shore. Now I love the tops of this. Does it look like a quilted top? Like it's so pretty. That's when Body Works know they be killing people with the prices. But it was half off and it smells so good. And then the last one I got, which was also $22.50, was this one blushing pink rose petal. Now this this smells like fresh flowers plus look at the top i mean come on now can you guys see that it's like really cute like this top is so cute what is this mumsy what is it called again no yes thank you mumsy had to tell me it's the eiffel tower i'd be forgetting what it's called but i thought it was so cute mumsy loves anything paris so i definitely had to get this because of my darling daughter mumsy so yes yeah. so, so they do i'm not really sure about all bath and body works but they had these these are normally a dollar fifty but they were a dollar and there's their little tote bags which is much better than carrying those paper bags i hate those paper bags so i think the next trip that i go to for bath and body works i will be taking this with me okay so that was my haul from bath and body works i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you check them out go on retail me not if you don't have any coupons from them and get yourself ten dollars off of your forty dollar purchase and rack the heck up because like i said this is the only time i do business with them so i love you guys stay deep and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and stay and stay tuned and thumbs this video up because you love me so much as much as i love you guys and i'll see you soon